CH2M Hill Plata Remediation Company is using American Recovery and Reinvestment Act funding to remove transuranic waste from the Hanford site. Out at the waste trenches, like treasure hunters on a mission to discover pirate's treasure, CH2M Hill has geophysicists mapping and searching for buried Cold War treasures below the ground. They're using old technology with new applications, only available within the past few years. So there's a series of targets through here. Uh, this is ranging down this parabolic image, which is down 50 nanoseconds, so that's beyond six to seven feet in depth. Before moving one shovel of dirt at Trench 4B, one of Hanford's burial trenches on site, workers had to survey the area to find out what lies beneath the soil by performing a geophysical investigation by using ground penetrating radar. It's those two shapes there, the parabolic images. Then the geophysicists use the radar data to create a model. Once the model is created, CH2M Hill's engineers evaluate it against historical data and create a 3D model. When sufficient information has been gathered to ensure safe digging, our crews excavate three feet down and use the radar once again. The final data is relatively accurate. Radar doesn't always tell the whole story, just like some of our historical data, but it provides a good basis to start removing waste. I think from the, the several trenches that we've done so far, when they have a, like the model's never 100% accurate, because uh, radar and EM methods are just not that precise. Um, even though we take it into 3D modeling and do all the fancy stuff. But just the fact that they know kind of where things are and the way they're kind of laid out and the things that might be possible hazards amongst them, it just allows them to plan that much better. And, and it does seem to make a, a, a difference as far as it speeds things along and it's letting them move much faster because they don't get to something all of a sudden that's unexpected that you know is out of place because sometimes the things are out of place compared to the historical records. Radar has been used since the mid-1900s, but combined with new technology, it has been very useful to improve safety on site and facilitate removal of waste from the Hanford site. This is just one of many examples where CH2M Hill is using the latest technology to keep workers safe and to keep the project on target to achieve its Recovery Act work goals.